Well, this is not basic electronics, as you might be able to tell by now, but I've been uploading them on Mondays recently because it works better with my schedule. This is my suitcase boombox, or stereo, or whatever you want to call it, that I was recently hired to make by a couple of uh, clients or friends, depending on how you want to look at them. But anyway, what they hired me to do is take this suitcase and these speakers that they got at Goodwill for four dollars and they wanted me to cram them into the suitcase that one of my clients just had laying in his basement. So I went and did that, ordered some stuff from Jameco and uh, I'll show you a close up. Um, as you can see, there's a volume rail or a gain potentiometer. There's a uh, input jack for AC power. If you want to use that, there's a switch between AC and uh, the battery power inside. This thing runs off of six triple A's. There's an input jack for 3.5 millimeter stereo. A power indicator LED a on off switch and a volume rheostat as you can see so actually I'll show you what the inside looks like too really quick so anyway I, drew, I took see this is going to be hard to show you I took the speaker and I mounted them on the inside and I drilled holes to let the sound escape better Uh, these are screens that I just put on to cover. They're from the these outside these speakers originally, and I threw them on there to help cover up the holes, because I had to cut it cut off of uh, the interior liner with a exacto knife to get the sound to come out better. So anyway, I just took took a couple of wood screws and uh, drilled some pilot holes and got them in there. And, uh, that's not going to show up very well, but there's a circuit. It's the LM386 amp that I built in my last basic electronics episode. Here's the batteries. And, uh, the interface, as I just showed you, is on the other side of that. So, uh, three speakers each set, so that's six speakers in total. And... Circuit works pretty well as I'm about to demonstrate. So I just ordered one of these six feet male to male 3.5 millimeter jacks or cables, I mean. And I'll just hook this up to my iPod. Okay. So I have my iPod here and I just plug it in, flip the power switch. Power LED comes on. Let's see, I'm going to start with the gain down, all the way down, volume all the way down. I'm going to turn the iPod on. Take a second. Resume playback, and it's playing. So crank up the. So this is with the volume down. This is with it all the way up. This is about half volume here. That was about half volume on this uh, iPod. And then we'll turn up the gain. And let's go as high as we can without it getting distorted and see how well we can make this. So as you can see, as you can see, uh, it's loud enough to drown out me almost shouting. It works pretty well, and some songs work better than others, but... This. I'm in the Led Zeppelin folder right now, but... I think you get the idea. Power 
Right, so you can take this thing everywhere with you, even though it weighs like 45 pounds. <laughs> it's not exactly the lightest thing to carry with you, and I wouldn't recommend uh, trying to get through TSA with this thing. Because it looks an awful lot like a bomb. <laughs> but this is a pretty fun project for me to do. It was kind of frustrating trying to get everything to work well, but worked pretty good. Worked on it this weekend and uh, happy with the results. Gonna take it to them tomorrow, see how they react, but I'm happy with it. So I hope you hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, or suggest more ideas for me to build and uh, put on here. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you sometime in the future. Have a nice weekend, or week, or whatever, whenever you're watching this. So, have a nice day. Signing off.